In light of those crimes, Aurora Public Schools now making some changes. For the next few weeks, security will be increased and high schoolers will no longer be able to go to their cars during the day or leave for lunch. Connor BQ is live for us tonight in Aurora on this story. And Connor, you asked the superintendent about these new safety precautions. Yeah, Karen, these changes went into effect at high schools all across the district today and will stay in place until at least winter break. The superintendent calls it a precautionary measure while police continue to investigate these shootings and while the district continues to evaluate how to better handle this problem. There are no lack of concerns that I have right now. After two shootings at or near high school campuses, Monday brought a new set of rules at Aurora Public Schools. For the first time in more than a decade, high school campuses will be closed for lunch. We want to make sure we take precautions and not overreact, but I think our students and our families understand that. Superintendent Rico Munn says schools will also increase security and mental health resources over the next few weeks. The challenge after that will be identifying ways to address the growing concern of youth violence. All these things have been happening very quickly and very recently in trying to understand uh, is there issues of gang violence, are there issues of retribution, are there issues of just lack of opportunity that kids are seeing. But it's definitely the right thing to do. Jason McBride works on violence prevention every day with the struggle of love. He says long-term solutions should include more community groups and ultimately focus on equity. So we need better libraries. We need equitable uh, uh, curriculum when it comes to what is being taught in our schools. You know, that will help uh, us, you know, fight other issues that we're having in our community. Munn says the district is doing just that, all while increasing mental health resources. Still, the issue at hand is evolving. What none of us counted on was a pandemic. And the overall increase in dysregulation amongst our students, the increase in behavioral and mental health issues. Now, there are some exceptions to that temporary closed campus rule, and that includes leaving campus for a class at a community or technical college. Again, these, will, these changes will be in place until the end of the semester, and after that, the district will reevaluate them moving forward. In Aurora, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.